I think the favorite thing about bet NFL betting for me is Survivor. I mean, if you want to consider it betting, I don't even know. But everyone's in Survivor. I am obsessed with Survivor. There are massive Survivor pools all over the country now with, with sportsbook apps, casinos in Vegas that you can enter with the, with a proxy. Like Survivor is, is where it's at for the end. I love Survivor more than I do individual NFL games. So we're going to try and lay some things out here with Survivor each week just to kind of maybe give you some – advice or what I'm thinking or some thoughts, maybe some, some games or teams to consider, or maybe even consider staying away. So like the biggest stay away from me this week, I, I like thinking of survivor as a game theory type, the type deal. I don't want to be on the pool pick. I don't want to be on the game that half the pool is going to be on because if they lose half the <laughs> pool is gone and you have picked up a massive edge in, in, in trying to win, win, win Survivor. So I am avoiding the red, the, the commanders this week. Like, like, I get it. It looks like an obvious win with the Cardinals not even trying to win. But you know the Cardinals are going to win a, a couple of games this year. You're going to you're gonna back Sam Howell now, second career start, touchdown favorite. Everyone expects them to win. Like, they're going to be at least a 50% pick in these survivor pools. So if you have four entries in a, in a pool and you want to use one, do that. But I would strongly advise you do not push all in with Washington. There's always a game in NFL week one where you go like, oh, oh, that like that happened. You remember a couple of years ago, the, I think the, the Jacksonville lost at home and you're like, oh, oh, how'd that happen? There's a one game and it feels like this Arizona game, right? Everyone's out in Arizona, rightfully so. They're not a good football team. They're trying to get Caleb Williams. We all know that. But Washington has Sam Howell, Eric Bamey's first time as an OC. Remember, they had to, Taylor Heineke last year had to beg to play Sam Howell in the final game of the season, <laughs> right? So, like, I, I I think you're right on here. Do you look at, at the future schedules of these teams and look, yes. okay, I take Washington here. I can take, yes. I can take this team here, this team here. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I think I, I think if you look at, look at Washington, like, when ultimately you're going to, are you going to use them? Like, this is probably the best spot to do it. But I, I just, this is more of the I want to avoid looking at, avoid being on the on the pool pick. But one, the one team that I did look at, and unless you're looking at saving the Bears for yeah. down the road, I think week 16, I think they play um, they play Arizona. I might, I might be wrong in that, but yeah, there are matrixes out there that lay this out. Like the risk reward pick this week is Chicago. It's basically a toss-up game at home against the Packers. I, I already mentioned that I like the Bears yeah. minus the minus the point basically to win the game. Like not a lot of people are going to be on Chicago this week. It's an opportunity to burn what I think is going to be a mediocre team at best against another mediocre team at best. Yeah, maybe there's a higher chance that you lose here, but at the same time you survive with the Bears. You've crossed a bad team off your yeah. off the grid, saved some good teams and you move on. So I, I don't know what you feel about back in Justin Fields or maybe fading mm. Jordan Love in the Packers? I'd rather wait on that game. It's a one point spread as we talked about earlier, and Jordan Love might be good. I don't, I, I don't, I don't really know yet. And, and there's a, a, I could see them winning that game more. Than I could see some of the other teams that we have here. And so, Robert, who's your favorite play of the week? Then? The top choice, the team, the team that I ultimately settled on is Seattle. Like there aren't a ton of clear chances if you look at some of these matrices that are out there in terms of win, win probability and percentages to take Seattle. This is the most obvious one. They do have Carolina at home. They do have Arizona at home. But this is a play against the Rams. And I think one of the things about Survivor is a lot of times you're just looking for teams to play against more than you are backing a team. I don't know what Geno Smith is going to do this year. I don't know how improved the, the, the Seattle defense is going to be. I don't know if Jackson Smith and Jimmy ultimately is going to play and how big of a year he will have. But I do know that the Rams roster outside of Cooper Cup, Matthew Stafford, and Aaron Donald is terrible. And Cooper Cup is not playing. <laughs> not playing. So like, <laughs> now, now you're looking at the Rams yeah. going on the road with a bad defense with like zero experience there, uh, an offensive line that's terrible. And do I want to lay five with Seattle? No, because I think there's a backdoor potential there. But I feel pretty good that Seattle will win this game. Over the years, we have texted about Survivor. Yes. You, we text a lot about Survivor. I live in a state, unfortunately, that doesn't have legal sports wagering at the moment. We're getting it move. fairly soon. I, I probably should, but we're getting it soon. I do like where I live. But we are in New York City right now. New York City, and the state of New York, allows 
free to wager on they sports. Do. And so I joined a survivor pool on one of the on one of the, uh, the 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 legal sports wagering apps. And for the first time ever, I get to enter this class because yes. I, I did not do a proxy in Vegas. I know you can do that. I think Seattle is the is the is the, is the optimum choice this week as well. I, I would probably go with you most weeks. So I'm going to make for the first time ever. I get to make my own wager for a survivor pool and put Seattle in there. Beautiful in New York. Um, I did, dude. We I, we talked about this like I was like I realized yesterday. Oh, I, I'm in a state where I could do this. I made so many wagers <laughs> the last 24 hours that I have to come back next week as usual, and we'll have to look at all of them to see how we did in week one, uh, the first time doing being able to use uh, any of these apps. So I'm with you on Seattle. I got you right here. We're good to go. Twelfth so man. Twelfth man. Let's do it. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.